What's poppin' gang? It's your girl Tiana. Whoa, and I'm back with another video. So as you guys can see in the title, this is me talking about my breast augmentation story, my boob job, whatever you want to call it. Yada yada yada. So um, if you're interested in this video, then just keep on watching. All right. So besides the fact that I look a hot mess, um, this is only my fourth day out here. <laughs> so I'm still in recovery. Anyways, so I just want to um, I have questions on my phone. Hopefully my phone doesn't die, but um, That people were asking and I hopefully I'll answer all your questions uh, Yeah, so let's just get started first question. I just want to answer like obviously people are gonna wonder like why did I want to get my boobs done? I wanted to get my boobs done since I was 18 um, Yeah, so I just didn't have now that I didn't have boobs I was just tired of complaining about my boobs being little like my sister and my mom have boobs and i'm just like yo what's up like what happened what happened with me so it was always a thing that i wanted to do and then as far as like finding a doctor honestly like so the i found my doctor like i seen his signs across town like four years ago but then i also have a lot of friends who went to him and i just love their boobs and i was just like that's my doctor like whenever i get ready to go that's gonna be my doctor my doctor is dr pancholi uh i'll have like his link below or whatever um if you're gonna go to him and you're in las vegas tiana jones sent you period um <laughs> but anyways my boobs since i was 18 and my surgery was july 11th I mean July 8th, but it was like super super fast like how I decided to get my boobs done like recently So I was with my friend I was hanging out with my friend at like the beginning of June And I was like yo, I really want my boobs done like I'm tired like I'm, I'm just fed up So I called and she was like all right, we can get you in July June 15th And I was like, okay, so that was my virtual consultation because you know coronavirus and <laughs> So I did a virtual consultation And they just asked questions obviously that that's the time like to ask as far as like, you know, what are your options? I already knew what options I wanted. Like I knew I wanted saline. I knew I wanted to go through my armpit. I knew I wanted under the muscle. So I was really simple. Like I was just like, look, throw a bag in here. And yeah, like that's what I wanted. <laughs> so um, afterwards, then you have, they give you a quote after your virtual consultation. So like pretty much like after your first consultation is when you get the quote. And so my quote for what I wanted was six thousand dollars and so i was like all right bet and then she's like if you want to come in you can make a 20 percent deposit and then we can move forward as far as doing the pre-op procedure so i was like all right for sure so i go and make a deposit she books my appointment and initially she's like oh we can do july 1st and i was like whoa <laughs> July 1st, that's like 15 days away. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't really, I'm not really ready. Like I'm ready, but I'm not really ready. So she's like, okay, what about July 8th? Like that makes a difference a week later, but here we are. Um, so I was like, yeah, that's cool. And um, I paid like everything pretty much up front. I just paid cash. Um, and then afterwards I went for my pre-op. So I went for my pre-op and that's like the longest day ever. Well, longest appointment, it's like two hours. You fill out all the paperwork. Um, it's like 50 pages of paperwork. So you gotta like read through everything. They give you all these instructions. And so this is when I find out, like, I don't know what idea I had of like when people get their boobs done. Like it just seemed like people just pop out with their titties. Like I promise you, it don't seem like they gotta prepare for nothing. They just go out there and do it. So I get there and she's like, yeah, so you have to stop smoking. You have to stop drinking. And you're supposed to do this like two weeks in advance. I'm a week and a half away like and I just like my birthday was the 25th so my pre-op like for all this is on the 26th and I'm supposed to already be in the habit of like no more smoking hookah no more smoking weed like all of that like and, and drinking so I had to like cancel a party because wasn't nobody about to be turning up without me preparing for surgery and so pretty much like that's supposed to just help with like bruising and healing you know you don't want to have the nicotine in your system because it makes like your veins smaller and your nerves like no oxygen flow all that stuff which is fine like i'm completely fine with it but i just didn't know all of that <laughs> and everybody's like well maybe you should just push it back because now you're not having fun for your birthday but i actually got to like drink and smoke hookah on my birthday i'm a hookah whore so 
it worked out because I was just like, oh, I just didn't know. Because I really didn't know. So it was like, whatever. Um, and clearly, I'm still here for doing that. But I definitely recommend to follow the procedures. What they ever they tell you. So that happened. So I'll show you like a clip of like, um, like what the boobs look like when you try them on. I didn't take a video like with the bra because... I was like hungover, I was just doing too much, but I did take like a video of like the implants. Um, and they make you try on like the silicone implants because silicone is already like in the implant and they just kind of like put a pre-made implant. Where saline is, like, they just put the bag in and they fill it up with saline on the day of surgery. Uh, and that was the reason why I also chose saline because I just like the idea of like being able to be proportionate. Obviously like I know silicone like you know it may feel better to some people i didn't care about none of that i needed some proportion i want to be out here looking like my twins look the same you know so that's just me personally but do what you do uh, i tried him on and he was like okay we're gonna do i'm gonna fill it up to like 400 cc's and i was like oh that's great because he had gave me one that was like super high profile and i was like absolutely not take it out i don't want that mm -mm, no 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 thank you and so then the other one i was like okay this is cool this is moderate you know and he like um says 400 cc so i go on the internet later and i'm just like 400 cc so i'm looking and i'm like oh that's nice that's nice so then i start getting to the 425 450 and i'm like a couple days going by and i'm just like i don't know like i feel like i need to go bigger like if i'm gonna pay six thousand dollars like i just want to make sure that it looks like i got my titties done but it don't look like i got my titties done you know what i'm saying like if you know me you know my titties done but if you don't know me you like damn that bitch got some titties okay <laughs> all right so <laughs> I, um, I'm just like contemplating going back and forth. And I know I could, I didn't really know if I could switch, but I seen some girls videos where they're like, yeah, day surgery. I was just like, yo, <laughs> extra 50 cc's please. So that was me, um, contemplating and I just looking at pictures and obviously everybody's results are different. So that was like another thing because like high weight all plays a factor. Okay, so I said the cost the implant. So I chose the implant was saline implant the size so literally the size is supposed to be 400 cc's in the day like the day a couple days before surgery or like the weekend oh like five days before because i called the weekend um and i just like text them and i was like hey like is there any way i can go to like 425 450 cc's like and they called me and they're like oh, okay cool like you don't want to change your actual implant you just want to change the size and i was like yes and so that was um reasonable they said it's fine and then he came in uh, on surgery day and was like, yeah, that's fine. Like I can do that. And I was like, great. So then the actual day of surgery. So are like actually on the days before. So you have to like pick up your prescription uh, days before. They tell you to get like frozen peas. They give you like a list of things you can't do. There's also like a list of things you can't eat. And I love pickles. I love tomatoes. There's like other things on there that I like to eat, but I was just like, I'm just not gonna eat anything. So, I mean, I was eating, but it's just so boring <laughs> for me. Um, so, you can't eat past 12. Like, you can't eat or drink water, nothing. So, I didn't do that. They also gave, well, they gave me, like, an anxiety medication. But I didn't really have anxiety. I just took it to take it, honestly. Uh, but I took it to kind of, like, see what it feels like. Just in case, like, somebody else is like, oh, would it work? But it would work. I just still had to get up at 5 o'clock. So I probably really wasn't even sleep to say the least. And obviously you need a driver. So I had my friend Courtney take me and we got there. My surgery was at seven, uh, but I had to be there at six. And they give you some surgical soap that you have to wash, use the night before, and you have to use the morning of. And that soap makes you feel so dry. So if you're a person who hates being dry like me, good luck because I was miserable as far as just being ashy. I just don't like that feeling. But when I got in um, on the day of surgery, it was so nice, I had my little nurse. Okay, so I have two beds for my clothes. This is what it looks like. I'm in the pre-op, your massage chair on the bed. Okay. She's asking me questions. I'm probably like the worst because I've been put to sleep before. I've been put to sleep four times, so. I really wasn't nervous to be put to sleep. A lot of times people like that's like the most nerve wracking thing is to be put to sleep. And I was getting general anesthesia, which general anesthesia, which I've already had before. 
Oh, excuse me. So, um, they had like this bomb ass massage chair. Oh my God. Like I could have really just got the massage chair, no titties and would have been fine. Like that chair, oh Lord Jesus, it was amazing. Like it was great. But yeah, so they go over like, you know, what procedure you're having. And like by that time I'm like, I know the actual like surgical terms for or medical terms. I was like bilateral, transaxillary, <laughs> saline. So, and then he just, again, asked me, did I want to go up in a size? And I said, yes. And then she put the IV in and it's crazy. Like I'm horrible with getting my blood drawn, but for some reason I was cool with getting the IV put in my hand, but it doesn't hurt. So that's why, but getting my blood drawn, the concept and like the way your body feels, it's just stupid. And you have to do that also before surgery. I had to do that a week before. That was like the worst part. The worst part for this for me was everything before. Like not being able to drink, not being able to smoke, only because it's my birthday. Like, so it was just not it. But I just don't recommend doing it the weeks before your birthday. Two weeks, I should say. Um, and so yeah, but she did that. And then the anesthesiologist came in asked me about anesthesia but i had already so he's like oh okay you're good and then you like walk into the surgery room so now that part i don't know if other people have to walk into the surgery room i had to walk into the surgery room and i will say like that's kind of like oh you like oh, okay so this is where it's gonna go down like it that's where you know a little nerves might kick in but I just laid, I just tried not to look around too much. And then I just laid down and they gave me like this nice warm blanket. Oh my God, I don't even know what it was, but it was lit. So they put that over me. And then the next thing I know, my body started tingling. Cause that's what anesthesia feels like, like tingling feeling. And it's like a little, like, it's like tingly, but like a whole bunch of like sharp. I don't want to say sharp needles, so I don't want to scare you, but like, like little, like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Like people like with their nails tapping you, but not like sharp nails, just a whole bunch of nails all over your body, but their fingernails. And I was out. And the next thing I know, I woke up and I looked down and I was like, titties! So I yeah, woke up with some titties and I got a little, I actually realized I recorded a video of me um, with my boobs, like right when I woke up. So I have that little snippet. And then I'll show you guys, um, a few pictures of, I wanna say the day of, which is kinda of like my bondage, which is the same thing that I'm in right now. <sighs> and then I have the pictures from day three, which is yesterday. And um, those are cool. So I feel like they're doing great. I think, I, I went to my post-op, which is the, you go the next day, and he was like, oh, they're looking good. Obviously, like, <laughs> when you first get your boobs in, a doctor's idea like they're looking good is probably like not your idea of what they're looking good but i can't complain like i feel like they're they're definitely getting there and then i'll show you guys like what um ooh, what i'm like wrapped in right now so like this is how they look right now um they're definitely like super still swollen and tender and then I have this paper towel here because um, this part of the strap like irritates this side. Um, but yeah, and then like if you wanna let it breathe, you can just go like that. But honestly, cannot complain, like super stoked. Um, oh, and then one thing I didn't notice, sorry. One thing I noticed that a lot of people, when I was watching like YouTube videos, they didn't have like this band put on like the moment after surgery. It was like they had to like get it later. And this helps put them into their, into the pocket or whatever. So it's crazy. And then the medication that I've been taking is, um, was it hydrocodone, lower tabs. Um, but I only take them at nighttime. I have a high pain tolerance, so. But the first day I was definitely taking them during the day. And then. So I forgot to add in the video, like it's super important for me to add this in here that I was dead ass calm to, contemplated constipated for three days so i ate watermelon and i had like a sip of like Miralax or water so i just want to add that in there but i'm not constipated no more but that is something that anesthesia does and i need to add that yeah but other than that honestly 
I'm super excited. So I go in next Wednesday for my week op, week post op, and then I go in for my month and then do three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Pumped. Hopefully I answered all the questions. Uh, somebody did ask me about um, implant illness. Like, did I look into it? Honestly, like, I don't be looking into like nothing negative. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, I didn't look into any of that. I also feel like, I know a lot of people who have implants, um, especially like in my family. I don't know a lot of people in my family, but I know someone in my family who has implants and the same exact ones that I got and she's doing perfectly fine. So um, I think that's why I really wasn't concerned. Um, but yeah, I just, I haven't looked into it. And yeah, I don't know. I just, me personally, like I'm a type, the type of person who feels like when you kind of stress about stuff, you can kind of create something. I don't know. Where for me, it's like, if I don't think about it, it don't happen to me. Not saying that things don't happen to me, but um to it's like kind of like having anxiety getting surgery like if i was to continue to have anxiety i don't think i would have went through the surgery obviously i didn't have anxiety but like that kind of perspective no offense <laughs> but yes so that was it uh, still can't complain let me give y'all <laughs> let me give y'all a better view like now my cleavage is coming in and i can't complain like what um I didn't get anything done to my nipples. I'll say that. Um, I feel like they look real um, like cones right now. Maybe not this one. But sometimes they be looking like cones. I guess that was like in the beginning. But yes, talk to me noise. Oh, and then I guess this is where my inc my incision is. It's underneath my armpit. Oh, and I can't wear deodorant for two weeks. So this is gonna be messy for two weeks. So I'm gonna just keep my arms down for two weeks. That part. Oh, so that wraps up the rest of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And like I always say, don't forget to like if you guys like it. Don't forget to comment if you guys want to comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you all in my next video.